right, uh, James, obviously you finished third in the uh, 2v8. Uh, can you just give your thoughts on the race? Uh, yeah, the race, it was a tight one. We knew it was going to be that way. There was a tailwind. Um, it was pretty strong down the whole race course. So the last thousand meters, uh, it was really picking up, getting choppy. And we knew as long as we were there, like the first thousand meters hanging in, we could definitely hold you know, some boots off for the last thousand. Uh, that's what ended up happening. Um, Brown and Princeton was right there with us. Was, uh, Washington was about a length ahead of us. And we just hung in there. And we knew that that, that last thousand meters was ours. And uh, luckily we were able to move past Princeton and get third and just move straight to semis. Um, it's really gonna help the team not having to go to uh, reps this afternoon, get the rest this afternoon. And then uh, can you kind of go back uh, the last two weeks from the Eastern Sprints uh, to the IRAs? What y'all been working on the last two weeks? Oh uh, yeah, um, obviously we didn't do as well as we had hoped at sprints. Um, we really thought we were, we were a better crew than that, and we knew we were. So um, the coaches have been working with us on um, some relaxation and uh, the back end uh, throughout the uh, last two weeks, and uh, bringing the attention to the back end has uh, really helped the boat um, bring it together. And uh, obviously we've uh, been able to pick up some speed. And then what does the mindset need to be for the semifinals? Obviously last year we had two boats finish really close uh, but missed out on the grand final. W what's the mindset for your crew for tomorrow? Uh, well, we know there's a really strong competition here at the IRAs. Um, there's no such thing as a slow boat here. And you know it's going to be a fight from stroke one. Um, so going into the semifinals, we know, you know coming off the line, it's going to be tough. Uh, but it's going to have to have a strong 25 strokes. Uh, hopefully we'll be neck to neck with some other crews. Um, little thousand. Still, you just got to hang right in there. Make sure you secure the bow balls and the other crews. And uh, that last 500, well, it's anybody's race. Uh, somebody that's length up can fall back to length down. Somebody that's length down can fall, you know, make it uh, length up by the uh, 2,000 meter mark. So, you know, it's just a battle the whole way down. And then finally, obviously, you just graduated from BU. Uh, what does this mean for you to be competing at the IRAs for last time? Uh, wearing the, the scarlet uniform? Uh, I mean, it's a bittersweet sweet experience. Um, the IRAs, you know, it's that race that you know, you're building for all year. You start preparing for the first IRAs the first day after the IRAs and the year before, so, um, you know, it's hard to believe that's all gonna be over in a couple days, but at the same time, you know, I wanna make sure that I'm uh, giving all I have for those uh, 2,000 meters every day that I get to row. All right, thanks, James. Thanks.